While Billy and Xanthi enjoy their meal out, Greg's only just started cooking. Will you lay the table for me? No. You won't help me lay the table? No. Looks like you're on your own, Greg. It's going to be ready in 15. Sorry, I know it's late. Later than usual. Please leave it there for a second. Please let the sun. You've got to, I've got to put the potatoes on there. With dinner finally served, talk turns to Billy's big award nomination. So, Mummy's up for an award tonight. We know that because she's gone. Mummy's up against Elton John, Rolling Stones. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I just realised they've got a name on them. They're called her Billy Fairs. Her name's Billy Shepherd. It doesn't bother me that, you know, she's called Billy Fairs because that's her brand. But I would like to get her passport changed. <laughs> I want to be there with my mum. You never know. Nilas is an award for the new Equa Dry Coat in the Horsey World, Nelly Shepherd. There was like an award for the best equestrian brand. I was thinking, like, actually, we might have a, we might have a high time. I think you will. Mum actually really loved my idea and fashion, but so it's a bit, um, is the word sexual? What? Nelly's equestrian coats are for kids, so I'm a little bit confused when she's coming out with the word sexual. Doesn't quite add up right. Got sexual? No, not sexual, whatever it's called. Unisex, that's it. Oh, unisex. <laughs> sexual? My unisex. God, Nelly. Unisex. unisex, that's it. What, so the boys can wear it as well. So the boys one, I've got your model. Yeah. Arthur, do your model first. It's amazing. I've got it. It's like you've got the coat on and you've got the hood up and then you look up and go, when it's wet, wet air could dry. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy having the three kids. I, I think Billy sort of makes out like I've never done it before. I've done it loads of times. So, yeah, this is easy. It's cold. But it looks like Greg's spoken too soon. You know why it's cold? Because you left it sitting there for that long. You know why it's cold? Because you left the door open. Watch. Little bit of you. Arthur, please eat your food. Yeah. Look, Nelly's eating all their food. I've eaten all mine. Eat your food, please, son. Arthur, just stop it, mate. Honestly, stop it. You're doing everything to be irritating. Please stop it. Do you want dessert? Right, eat your food, or you're not having it. Yeah. Arthur's not having his dessert anyway because he hasn't eaten his dinner. I'm tidying up. <laughs> oh. It was going smoothly, and then after has to like throw a spanner in the works. I thought it was going to go nice and easy tonight, but there's always one. <laughs> <laughs> you can have them. Go and have them. Sometimes when you've got three kids to deal with, you, you just have to give in and you do things for an easy life and just have your dessert, get to bed. But as Greg tries to keep the kids on side and get them to right. bed on time... Oh, Mum, it's getting late. Sorry, this is way past our bedtime. Nelly and Arthur have other ideas. Let's play haunted. Hey, no! My horse has diarrhoea. <laughs> right, can we calm, please? Now I have a bum brush. Be careful, no, no, be careful. He's eating. No, Nelly, you've got to be careful. He's eating, all right? No, Nelly, calm down. Right, up we go, come bedtime. <laughs> come on, I'm going to do this after. Come up, 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 up we go. And after a less peaceful night than planned. Put it all in your wash bin now. Oh, oh please, why are you being so hard all the time? Greg finally gets Nelly and Arthur upstairs, headed in the right direction towards bed. Love you. Love you. As Greg admits defeat, oh. 